Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel again. It's DJ Cliff, and thank you for those who are supporting this channel. As you can see, it's very late in the evening, but I hope you guys you can see me. Uh, today is the day you guys have been requesting more, and I don't want to go to so many details. I just want to uh, deal with those requests you've been asking me on the comment section. But before we proceed, make sure you subscribe to this channel, you share this video, you like, and remember, real DJs never give up. I love you guys, so let's keep watching this video up to the end. So I salute you guys, thank you for supporting me, and make sure if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. I love you guys, so let's keep it on. So guys, like I've been telling you previously from the start of this video today, I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about. So let's just go straight to a point today. I usually use the Cross DJ Pro to do my mixes. As you can see, it's up there. So I'm launching the application. And today I just want to show you how you can edit your waves and uh, how you, you can set your hot cues and do some quality maneuvers on your Cross DJ application. I want you guys to sharpen your skills and every day make sure you get used to the interface of the cross dj application and you love to use the cross dj application you know you'll never say cross dj application is for kids because this is an international made uh, um, application used for i mean it, it's even used to the professional djs so let's go to a point today i don't want to go so much on words so as you can see just down below the plus button on the orange side we have the web form editor there's a waveform there as you can see there's some waves there i know you guys know what i'm talking about the waves there's only one button there so make sure you tap it as you can see that's how you can edit your you can edit your waveform so i've not loaded any song so there's no waves which i can edit but first of all if you want to know you can this option is usually not there when you've not activated uh your waveform editor you should go to the setting option just uh, below the blue button on the right side, there's a setting icon there. Just tap it, go to the advanced settings, then you go to the uh, edit uh, bit grid edition. And I'm sure this is not the first time I'm giving up. I mean, I'm, I'm showing you guys about the bit grid edition. Make sure this option is ticked blue, and uh, you'll have that option of uh, editing your waves in the CrossD application. So let's go back and I want to load a song and if I scroll so well, let me use the David Guetta Titanium featuring C here. Um, uh, I usually, uh, I, I'm just using a random song. It's not necessarily that you have to use the same song or look for the same song. You can even do it using the playlist you have on your, I mean on your phone. So uh, we are going to edit the waves. So um, we should, I mean like, if you go to the waveform editor like I've showed you, uh, let me assume the first bit was somewhere here. So let me just do something before I tell you what I was talking about. So let's assume you've uploaded your video. I mean, you've you've uploaded your song on the deck, maybe B or A, and this is how the bits are aligned. As you can see, the first bit is not aligned when I tap Q. And I usually love tapping Q when I want to do some crazy maneuvers or do some crazy tricks when I want to join, I mean, when I'm scratching and I want to join the songs together so that I have a quality transition between uh, the song playing and the one I want to put in together. So, like, for example, if you tap Q, you, le let me just tap the Q and hear some of uh, a bit of crazy sounds. Okay, like I feel it's a crazy sound, but kinda it it's a bit well because the song. I mean, it has no. Um, I mean, the, the the sounds in the waves are a bit good, but there are some songs which have so many bad uh, uh, waves which you need to sit down, edit, and have uh, you edit so that the the beats are, are well aligned. So this the first beat, but you, okay, as you can see, if I tap the Q. The first beat goes beyond the white line. It should not be that way. Like for me, I prefer the first beat should be on the white line. 
so that when I want to do a crazy maneuver, it just starts directly from the song which has a beat. And usually, not every song should start from the start because some songs usually start with some kind of movie series, kind of like you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, if you see, if you know that song as a DJ, you you must first, I mean, you must first know how the beats of the song is. A DJ cannot mix a song when he does not know how the beats are. And this is the first step you have to know. So coming here to the Weed Web, the Beat Grid Edition uh, gives you a chance of aligning the first beat, the first beat as you can see there, to get aligned with the wild line so you can do a crazy maneuver. So let me do uh, uh, the edition of the webs. I don't want to go to so many words. Uh, there's There are two battles there. We have some two sticks and some many sticks in the middle those are the buttons of editing the waves so uh i'm using the blue one on the blue deck and the orange one is on from the orange side but meanwhile we are talking about the blue side so tap the the blue uh button as you can see we have about five buttons there so the first uh the second button as you can see there it has some kind of some kind of aerial and some long short sticks and one long the first one i'm talking about so that one is the only I usually use when I want to do uh, addition or aligning the first bit with the, I mean, the white line. So you tap that button, the second button, and then you go back, you tap the Q button so that it gets aligned. As you can see, it's well aligned. Tap the first button to remove the icon. And then, like, if you follow me very well, it should be this way. Like, it should be this way. So, like, if you see, when I tap the Q button, the, the bits are well aligned. Uh, they just don't skip the L. the first one was skipping uh, maybe to somewhere here if i tap the q button it skips like if you can see if i tap the q button it goes to the first bit and that's how it should be like now uh we are talking about if i'm sure you are well good in the waveform edition uh it's only important to make sure you align your waves if you want to go into so much of the editions in those buttons uh i will i'm not i usually don't use those words times two or a half of uh i don't know i usually don't use that i'm sure some of them are even zooming the webs of which i don't want to go to so many details about the webs the most important thing is align your bit with the white line so and as you can see we have three buttons just down below the uh, the record button we have the fx you have the symbol showing the equalizer and you have the something like recycling sign uh, showing the loops and the hot cues so if you want to go the hot cues secrets you, you tap the first button there those arrows and you can see uh, we have those many buttons from uh, from the blue side and the orange side so uh, uh, you know like if you use Serato, Serato only allows gives you chances. Uh, you can even do some hot cues when the song is playing. But while using the Cross DD application, if you want to use the hot cues, the hot cues don't get well when you're playing the current song. So it should not be the, the song uh, playing currently. It should be the song maybe you want to do some crazy tricks. Maybe a song on the left side is playing and you want to do uh, crazy stuff using the David Guetta or kind of the song you're using on the orange, I mean on the blue side. So um, I'll use letter one for the first hot cue from the first beat. And then, you know, hot cues is just not a matter of setting hot cues. You have to go and uh, look for the beats. Uh, let me go use the next beat. Um, maybe somewhere there. I tap the Q button to get the beats aligned. Remember that. Never forget that. Then we go to the hot cues. I press two. So, uh, this how you gonna maybe if you want to start a song using the hot cues, this is how you gonna do it. Let me show you. It. Let me show you guys how you can do it. You shot it. You 
Like guys, as, have you, as you've seen what I've just done, I've uh, been using the hot cue number two and the hot cue number one. As you like, you have seen, I've been using the uh, the hot cue number one and the hot cue number two uh, while performing some tricks on the at uh, the song like I, I just wanted. And uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I wanted this video to be short, so that's why I've gone so fast. But I hope if you don't got anything from this video, you, you can just go back, just rewind and start it again and then you will get to know what i'm talking about so next time i'll be uploading another video and the video shall be showing you on how you can uh use the hot cues maybe uh, the orange side is playing and you want to do i mean you want to use the side of blue one while you want to perform a crazy maneuver uh and a crazy scratch and you guys you're gonna also enjoy it so make sure first of all guys if you're using the cross dj application for the first time make sure you get used to the interface of the cross dj application then get to master those uh buttons then the third thing i mean the third thing you have to know uh make sure you get used to your playlist so your playlist has also to be also well organized because a dj does not just do mixes just for the sake of doing mixes your playlist has to be organized and then that's where you'll get to get it easy while you want to perform a quality scratches so i'll uh enjoy you guys i mean you guys i'm sure you've enjoyed i don't want to go to so many words make sure you subscribe comment like and everything is just going to work on well as you guys have been wishing thank you guys for your subscription uh, i'm targeting 2000 subscribers by the end of this month or maybe next month uh, and you guys gonna make this possible i love you guys up to next time bye bye